I am T Remedy. And I am Miss Delight. And we are Inner, Inner City, City South. And you're watching Black, Black Butterfly, Butterfly Media TV. so much for tuning in welcome to memphis actors talking about you're watching black butterfly media tv today we're at the evergreen theater on poplar avenue here in memphis tennessee where on august 14th the stage play remy from fate there is no escape makes its world premiere debut joining me today on the show i am so excited to have the producer, the director, the writers of Remy from Faith There Is No Escape, ladies and gentlemen, Tim and D. Dotson. Hello. Hello, hello. Thank hello, you hello, for hello. having us. Yes, we're so glad to be here. Thank I'm you. I'm so excited to have you guys Girl, we're here. excited too. Oh, my God. <laughs> First, before we get started, I wanted to say thank you so much for being a strong presence in the Memphis theater community. Thank you so much for the opportunities that you have given not only me, but a host of other actors to perform on stage, what we love to do so much. Thank you for taking the time out to giving me this interview today and supporting me. I'm a student, so I appreciate all the help I can get, but thank you so much, Tim and Dee. How you guys doing? How you guys feeling? Doing well, doing well. Thank yeah. you so much for having us yeah. and uh, just being able to let your light shine on what you are, are here to do. Well, if it wasn't for creative and artistic people like yourselves, I wouldn't be here. So thank you again. All right. <laughs> thank Black Butterfly Media TV. So Inner City South. Yes. What is the vision behind Inner City South? That's a good question. That is a good question. I think uh, Inner City South is, of course, a, a performance and production company. Mm -hmm. But our vision for Inner City South is to use performing arts as a platform uh, to bring awareness to our social issues bring awareness to uh, how we can make uh, our economy grow with the arts, mm -hmm. as well as educating our children with the arts. Yeah, Inner City South, our um, mission statement is we are putting unity back into the community. Yes, ma'am. And that's really our effort, getting everyone with like minds to work together and accomplish something great within the community. Now, I wanted to point out that you are a husband and wife duo. Yes. So how, d this is beautiful. Thank you. How did this get, how did it get started? Woo. Eons ago. <laughs> uh, we, we actually started uh, working together uh, as a group in 2002. Mm. Uh, we started actually in a, in a, a church uh, writing ministry called Conquerors for Christ, and mm. that's how we got started. Wow. And so the name Inner City South was, how, how did that get invented? Who came up with the name? Well, um, we came up with Inner City South because we wanted to say something that represents where our heart is. And mm -hmm. We want to be a voice for the voiceless. Mm -hmm. And the inner city, a lot of times, are definitely the voiceless. So that's where Inner City South, of South, of course, because we're here in Memphis. Yay. And so we really want to be here uh, to represent those who uh, may feel that they don't have a voice, and that's where Inner City South, uh, that idea comes from. Remy, from Faith Ooh. There Is No Escape. Yes, yeah. yes. Check it out. Check it out. Check yes. it out. We check, have been check it out. we have been rehearsing now for about, about two three weeks now. Yes. So what is the vision behind it? How, what is who inspired you or what inspired you to write that play? Okay. Well, um, the lead actress in the play, Emily Williams. Mm -hmm. She and I and uh, Tim, we had all worked together in a previous play. So you know we bonded and 
we both had like minds, all three of us, you know, we had like minds. And so we decided we wanted to come up with a vehicle about a woman who was strong, but also had flaws. And within the story, be able to um, portray someone who had issues, but didn't stay in a bad zone. So we wanted an inspirational story. We wanted to tell an inspirational story, and we wanted it to be a woman, so that way we can help other women that are going through some of the issues that we discuss in the play. So uh, Emily Williams, she's an excellent actress. Yes, she is. I mean, amazing. Yes, she is. So she contacted she us, is. and she was like, you know, I want to do something. I was like, girl, me too. What do you want to tell? <laughs> so uh, what we kind of did is left him out the loop. <laughs> and then she and I just chitted and chatted about uh -huh, it. Uh-huh, chit and chat. Yeah, we chitted and chatted about it. And uh, so we came up with this concept about this character who was strong mm. but flawed, and we want her to end up the hero to let other women know things may happen to you or different things may go on in your life, but you um, don't have to succumb to any of that. You can always rise to the top. See, see, yes. that, that is good. So how long did it take you to, to write the play? Uh, because when we started, you had, you was on the first, we got the first act yes. in. You, I know there's a lot of rewrites. Yeah, yeah. well, well I, I think we are, <laughs> I you think got three we're people, never really you know. done, <laughs> right. done writing the play, you know, I think it's, yes. a, it's a living being, mm -hmm. uh, so it's, it's uh, forever evolving. Yeah. So we just have to get to a point to where we are satisfied with where, where we are mm -hmm. in the journey. Yeah. You know, uh, the journey, it takes us in different directions a lot of the times, and we get inspired by a lot of the talent and the That's actors. That's exactly what I was going to say. Sometimes mm -hmm. when we get into practice and we see our um, actors doing their thing, we're like, oh, wait a minute, that part that's in there, they can come harder. We, oh. can, we can go deeper. We yeah. can do different things. So our talent mm. often uh, inspires the script. And so it's never, like Tim said, mm -hmm. it's never stuck until I say it's stuck, it's done. And until when it, show off. And it's opening night. night and it's done. Yes. Wow. <laughs> well, uh, there are some, I'm sure there are, I did mention that you are a husband and wife duo, but I'm sure there are some challenges and some perks working together as Girl, a team. yes. I know, I can imagine what the perks are, <laughs> but what are some of the challenges? Well, I, I think for me, uh, a lot of the times the challenge is, is to find the balance, mm -hmm. uh, to, to find uh, where uh, the business ends and the, uh, the mortgage talk and, and yeah. all the other talks that we have to have as a family, mm -hmm. uh, how those kind of have to have a balance. Yeah, so to the point to where we have to say, um, right now we're doing T Remedy and Misty Light work, right? Mm -hmm. And then later on we're going to do and Tim and D work. So right. we have to separate. make a balance mm -hmm. into yeah. it. So Tim, what are your responsibilities? Your main responsibilities as the business the part? He's the man. He's the I, man. Um, He's the man. <laughs> D, D usually does most of the directing, mm -hmm. uh, and she's she's very much the creative side of Inner City South. I'd handle most of the administrative stuff, so I, I get gigs and I. Um, I do a lot of our marketing and, and things of that, uh, that nature to get people in the seats. Yes. To make sure that all of those uh, the behind the scene things that have to happen that people don't really see or get credit for, mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. that, that they, they go on smooth without a hitch. So He makes I, sure that paperwork is right, that mm -hmm. everything is on track. Make sure the checks are on Make sure signed. the checks Everybody are signed. Yeah. And uh, <laughs> he makes sure that Inner City South is shown in the best light always. So yes. that's, that's what he does. What other plays have you written? I know you, you, you we're oh, here wow. at the Evergreen Theater a year this, ago. This is our home. So yes. Evergreen yes. is our home. We yes. actually have, um, we started doing work here, uh, I think in, in 2008. Mm -hmm. uh, and we have uh, one of the, one of the our original plays, or well, all of our plays are uh, original works. Uh, but uh, Rhyme and Reason was uh, one of the first plays th that we were able to do. It was we a hip hop era, so the, you know, the play was done in prose throughout, you know, music and everything. So mm -hmm. that was like one of our first um, plays. And we also, uh, we want to make sure that people know us a lot in the community for our spoken word. Yes, yeah. Uh, but um, our spoken word is, is one of the things that kind of inspired us to, to start doing plays mm -hmm. because we felt that our spoken word was limited on the stories that we could tell. That's Yeah, beautiful. because you know like you do that. a spoken word piece, it's three minutes, mm -hmm. you can't really get a lot in, but sometimes you have that idea mm -hmm. and it needs to expand, so unless you're gonna do like a million uh, <laughs> parts to that one piece, nobody's gonna stand, sit down and listen to that, you know, so. <laughs> The spoken word, we are known as spoken word artists, and that is where our 
heart and home is, mm -hmm. but we know that the gift was given to us to be a broader spectrum. So, and that's just what we're trying to honor, um, making sure we use our powers for good and right. use our gifts in all the ways that we can. Positively. And helping a lot of people. Oh, thank you. Creating so. opportunities, which we is, so. I love. Thank you. One of the things I'm very proud of is our flagship uh, show. It's called Dinner and Divas. Mm -hmm. It's a sickle cell benefit that we uh, do dinner theater for. And uh, we've, we've done that for nine years mm -hmm. previous. Oh. And uh, that's where a lot of our work comes, uh, comes from and is inspired by, mm -hmm. uh, by being able to, we do an all-female cast most years. Mm. And um, it, it was one of the things that was a catalyst for us to be able to see how uh, the work that we do can actually help and empower someone else. Mm -hmm. we, we say uh, it's life, it's lending empowerment for, uh, I mean, lending inspiration for empowerment. Yes, and when we were doing the dinner in Divas, because it was an annual thing, we had to have a new play every year. You're not going to put the same play on. So that <laughs> required us to get in the lab, hone our mm -hmm. playwriting skills, so we probably have at least 13 original plays written underneath our belt right now. So Guild Lies and Lust 1 and 2, two. What's Done in the Dark, Fusion, Fusion Network, Network. Um, 1 and 2. <laughs> 1 and 2. <laughs> uh, yeah, so maybe at least 13 original plays that we've written ourselves and actually been, put on stage. Y'all been busy. Yes. yes. <laughs> Truly busy. When you have auditions, you have, I'm sure you have a lot of people come out to audition for your plays. How difficult is it to cast? Oh, like for Remy, for this play here, it was... Uh, it was difficult. It was very <laughs> difficult. We had some of Memphis' best come out. And um, the producers, um, Tim and I and Emily Williams, I'm telling you, man, we went round for round, wow. up and down, because it was so tight and yeah. everything was so. So um, the main thing is that we're appreciative that talent in Memphis want to collaborate with Inner City South because we could write a million plays. Um, without the actors to put them on, it's just nothing. So in our notebook, yeah. right? So we just always say, you know, we're, woo, we're so thankful that um, people are actually interested, talented people that could be um, working with any of the well-known, mm -hmm. weller-known mm -hmm. uh, theater companies. Yes, you know? yes, is that not a word, weller? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. we can make it a well word. Well-known, <laughs> um, you know, theater companies, yes, and they, you know, taking their time and their talents to come and work with us and help us visualize our dreams so we can help them visualize theirs. Absolutely. And we're going to take a brief intermission. We're going to be right back with some more from Tim and Dee Dotson from Inner City South. We're talking about the stage play, Remy, the world premiere stage play is going to debut right here on this stage, August the 14th at the Evergreen Theater. We'll be right back. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget, like us on Facebook. Okay, we're back with Tim and Dee Dotson of Inner City South. I'm so excited to have them on the show. Hello, guys. Hey. Welcome back. Let me ask you a question. Okay. Have you guys ever considered doing a play together, just you and her? I mean, I know you do the spoken word, but yeah. have you ever thought about doing like a one act, two act, just together, just the two well, of you? We, we <laughs> actually have one uh, coming up for Hattie Lou. Uh, we're going to do a 10 minute play for Hattie Lou in November, and uh, it's just going to be the two of us. Yeah, <sighs> so uh, it's going to be a. a 10 minute plays. So mm. We don't have much room for <laughs> right. so many other people. <laughs> yes. But um, so. Yeah, we think about that all the time, mm -hmm. you know, but uh, that would be really something. Well, I, I want to say this. Um, I always thought that I got my most excitement from uh, being on stage, mm -hmm. but it, was, it wasn't until I started putting other actors mm -hmm. in a position to where they could reach their potential mm -hmm. is what I really found out what my zeal for the stage was about. You right. know, I really want to be able to uh, be the conduit for other actors other uh, performing artists to be able to find their their position and place in the theater. Mm -hmm. Let me ask you a question. How far do inner, do you want Inner City South to go? Every, to the moon, Alice. <laughs> I mean, everywhere. 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 I mean, I don't know if I'm saying this right, but oh. what is the 
your the ultimate vision. Yeah, the ultimate the vision. The ultimate vision is to remain producers and writers because that's where our core is. In Memphis. In, in Memphis and the world. Okay. <laughs> and the world. Uh, we love Memphis. Mm -hmm. um, so we want to show the world what Memphis is about. So um, our ultimate goal is to be a, pro a premier production company that produces plays, television shows, all different forms of media. Sitcoms. Sitcoms. Yeah. That's the ultimate vision for Inner City South, um, the long-term goal that will become realized. It will. <laughs> yeah. Well, one, one of the things I want to I make sure happens is that, that we continue to find places or develop places that cultivate the arts. Exactly. Yes. You know, to, to, to grow other young artists and also be able to grow in our own craft mm -hmm. uh, in, in a way that where uh, Memphis no longer is just the way station for where talent is picked up and taken other places where, where we can start developing an uh, infrastructure here that will allow Memphis to be a premier place for other people to come to. Exactly. That, that is one of my, my next question I was going to ask you is that what do Memphis needs to do to provide the actors that's living in this city more opportunities for, for growth and to obtain that big break? Mm. I'm sure everybody in here is just waiting on that big break to happen. And I mean, thank God for you and all the other theaters, but we need to get to that next level. Yes, yes. And so what do, what do Memphis have to do to get us to that next level? Because m people get trained and develop here, actors get trained and develop, then they move to Atlanta and they move to New York because that's where the big breaks are. Yeah. They're making a living. So w to keep the talent here, mm -hmm. what do Memphis have to do? I mean, you can't do it all by yourself. No, and that's exactly what I was going to say is Memphis needs to go back to the original format of family. Mm -hmm. And the only way we're going to build is that we've got to start working together seriously. Say it again. Together. Say it again. The only mm -hmm. way that we're going to be who we are realized in Memphis is if we work together. So we put all our resources all of together. All our resources, all the directors, everyone. Put the pride down, put the pride selfishness exactly. down, and just accomplish we one goal. We have to work together because right now, um, because Memphis is in the South and because we are in the Bible Belt, we can be divided in thoughts and processes and things like that based off just being in the South. So we need to really forget about that and take it back to the art, take it back to the art and get everyone to work together. But let me ask you this, Dodie, and I know this wasn't part of the question, but Atlanta is in the South and they so much advance so much in front of us. Well, well why? why? Well, I, I think the reason that Atlanta probably has a, a foothold over Memphis is because um, Memphis is, is a, a hub town, mm -hmm. you know, and at Atlanta actually have, has a lot of corporate companies that have their headquarters there, yeah. you know, have a lot of uh, more people there that are, have disp disposable income That's right. that will go toward discretionary things like art. Yeah, and that's you know, very true. A lot it's of not about going uh, toward mm -hmm. the bills. Mm -hmm. You know, you, you don't have to make the decision between paying your light bill and going to see a play. Mm -hmm. You actually maybe have some discretionary fund to be able to to uh, to, to actually go and, mm -hmm. and experience the culture of a city. Mm -hmm. The culture of this city is very rich. Very. Yes, you know, and and there's there's only so many places that you can go to get the type of talent that Memphis has in spades. So we just have to, the thing that I think that I totally agree with Dee uh, on is collaboration is we key. Yeah. We have, we have growing in the city right now a true renaissance. Yes, we do. Of theater. We do. Of we theater. really do. We really we have. We're moving on Cooper, yeah. mm -hmm. uh, right next to Playhouse on the Square, the all whole those theaters theater in that district. area. Yes. As well, as well as Evergreen. Yeah. Evergreen is, is, is our home, and we, we love it here because we are allowed to be able to tell the types of stories that don't get told everywhere. Mm -hmm. Exactly, because the one of the things that Tim and I really want to make sure that we accomplish as Inner City South is staying true to who we are yes. and understanding that we can do what we want to do the way we want to do it, mm -hmm. as long as it's not hurting anyone and as long as we're being positive in the process. So that's why we love being in the Evergreen. We tell we don't have to run our story. Mm -hmm. We can run it the way we want it. We can write it the way we want it. We can perform it the way we want it. And that is true artistic freedom. Absolutely. And that's what any artist is looking for. Absolutely. And you give the actors opportunity to stretch themselves. Yes. We uh, hope we do. We yeah. want 
because Tim and I are performers as well. Right. So even though we wear director's hats and even though we wear producer's hats, we're always for the artist mm -hmm. because we know that feeling. Right. We know about that phone call to come and be in this play for 8 million weeks and for the fee that you're going to get. And you're like, say what now? You asked me to do what? Yeah, I you know, the math, that's not really. So we're get, we get asked that as well because yeah. we're also performers. We're not just um, producers and playwrights. So we're always on the side of the artists because we are artists ourselves. So we definitely understand, you know. I love, you know what? I love the way, I love the way that, Memphis is moving. Oh, it's beautiful. And I love the talent that's here. Yes. I mean, we have some, I mean, I'm, this is one reason why this show was, was built on because I was seeing all this wonderful talent and I was just, I was just amazed to see these people performing. I was like, somebody need to see this. Yes, a lot of somebodies. Mm -hmm. yes. A lot of somebodies. And speaking of somebodies, <laughs> your cast is here. Woo! They're yes. sitting in the wing. Yes. And, uh, this cast is amazing. Okay, everyone, please. You have to come and see the play because the cast is totally amazing. There, all star cast. I mean, all star cast. Um, we are so happy and we feel so blessed to have these magnificent talents mm -hmm. gracing yeah. our space. You know what I mean? So, including you our own, Mary it, Ann. No, our I own, thank yes. you for the opportunity because I I was at the audition and I saw the waiting room and I I was like, oh my god. <laughs> you know, but you know what I like about it though? When you come in there, you see, you always see somebody you know. Yes. Right. And it's like, hey, girl, how you doing? Like, <laughs> yes. That's right. That's so, right. you want to set it up? And who else? You want to let Ooh. the world know who's all in your cast, your world yes. premiere, your yes. first yes. Remy? Yes, yes, yes. Well, Remy, uh, playing the role Faith, of There's No Escape, yeah. August 14th through the 23rd, mm -hmm. playing our, our principal role will be Miss Emily Williams. Killing it. Uh, playing Remy. Yes. 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 And yes, uh, yes. you want to just go back and forth? Y'all can clap. Yes. You can clap. You, yeah, yeah, clap it up. Come yeah. on now. Yes. So <laughs> then um, we have a very magnificent and um, diverse actor in Arthur Ford. He yes. is playing um, um, a very intricate part in this play. He's totally amazing. Um, yes, he will yes. bring forth emotion from watching. And I wrote it. And mm -hmm. when he says it, I'm still like, oh, goodness. So uh, <laughs> yeah. magnificent talent in Mr. Yeah. Arthur Ford. Yes, indeed. We also have uh, a, a brother that I'm really growing. I've always respected his art, uh, but I'm really growing to respect him more as a friend and as, as a, a, a person, a man of his word. Uh, please um, keep your eyes out uh, looking for this name, Kenan Walker. If Kenan you haven't hey, heard of him yet, Kenan. you're going to hear of him really, really soon. And when Kenan makes it, he's going to call D. <laughs> and not we all and we're gonna all make gonna it. make it. Uh, make so yeah. So um, <laughs> then I'd like to say that we have a character that is funny mm -hmm. and she's full of life, and the actress that plays it is funny and full of life in real life. Yes, and so she is. Um, it's beautiful to have Miss uh, Tamika Chambliss here yes. with yes. us doing it, and she's also a veteran to the stage. Which yes. I mean, hey, let's get it, Tamika. Let's yes, do she it. Is. That's right. That's let's right. do it. We have such a variety of people that do several different types of art, mm -hmm. but we also have a brother that is a visual artist that's trying his hand and doing uh, a little bit of theater work. Uh, Sir Walt Andre. Sir Walt. Yes, yeah, Sir Walt. Yeah, and then, you know, again, because Inner City South is community based, we want this to be a hub of a place for you to be able to come and say, because everybody deserves a first time. Mm -hmm. Even seasoned actors had a first time. That's right. And Inner City South's not mad about being your first time, but be ready to work. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, so um, we also have. Let's talk about uh, Casa Teatro. Yeah, Casa Teatro. Um, we, ha we had the opportunity to work with uh, Casa Teatro and a, a, a fundraiser. Which Casa uh, Teatro is Memphis's only bilingual, bilingual uh, theater, theater, theater company. Yes. Yes, so uh, we have uh, Brandon from uh, uh, Macardo. Macario. Macardo? Macario? Yes, we said it right, Brandon. Thank you. <laughs> yes, thank you for being here. Thank you for being a part of this. Right, and Brandon... Um, he, he is a part of Casa Teatro, and um, mm -hmm. his acting is very excellent and it on is. point. And it's just good to mix all this melting pot together that's naturally here in Memphis anyway. Mm -hmm. And uh, I'm glad to be a part of that with him, and he be a part of us. It's yeah. great. Yeah. Janika Taylor. I don't even need to say nothing else. Austrander winner. Taylor! Austrander winner. I mean, I, 
I've only seen uh, Janika at some theater event, you know. <laughs> so, uh, did, I mean, I had the opportunity to work with her uh, doing a play called Anunci. Oh. Uh, and uh, we had a fun time doing that, and I'm glad we get a chance to do it again. Yeah, when she auditioned, we were like, we don't know how we're going to use her, but guess what? Oh, yeah, she's going to get going used. down. <laughs> <laughs> We're not really for sure. We're kind of fighting between these four or five different things, but we calling her. You know, <laughs> that is God's favor. You know. right. When you when somebody can come on stage and you say, you know what, I I don't know how we're gonna use you, but you gonna be in you this play. You are in this. That ain't this nothing but God. Down. It's going That's down. Right. That's yeah. right. So our cast is totally amazing, and um, they're a real good family and a very good team. And I, will, I, I can't. I oh, can't and Mar Marianne. Thank you for thank the work you. that you're doing. Yeah. Thank you, Marianne. No, thank and, you. And, and, and you guys, Mar I'm sorry, go ahead, Derek. And also, uh, Jackie Murray. We yeah. were just going to say about Jackie, <laughs> but before we talk about Jackie, I want to say that Marianne's character that she's playing is so different from herself, and it's such a joy to see someone who you know on a personal level that to be one way, and then to see them be another way, and I say, no, see, this is acting, mm -hmm. and this is what we're here to do. That's well, right. so thank you. You wrote it. You wrote it. Well, I'm like, who wrote this? <laughs> okay, so I just wanted to say that. Thank you, Miss. But D. we have an excellent stage manager yeah. in Jackie Murray, who is, uh, Mur Murray. Murray, who is also um, a magnificent an actress, yes. songstress, mm -hmm. um, and so um, we are we definitely... We might be coming out with a soundtrack. Right. That's exactly. all right. That's good. I'm exactly. sure Jackie would love to do that. Because <laughs> it might be a Remy part two. <laughs> it might hey. be a Remy part More two. More than likely. More than likely. <laughs> likely. <laughs> so to have all of this talent around us just makes us want to work harder and, wow. uh, you know, makes us want to put our nose to the grind. So Delvin we're just Brown. Can't forget my guy. Oh, yeah, don't Devin. forget Delvin. Delvin yeah. Brown. Yes. Yeah. Also Delvin Brown. Devin is no stranger to Black Bella Five Media, Media TV. <laughs> Thank you so much, Tim Thank and Dee. Oh, my goodness. Y'all give it up for them. Thank, Thank you. you for the opportunities Thank you. that Thank you're providing. You. Thank you for being a strong presence. We Thank love you. you guys. Love you, too. And, uh, guys, thank you all for tuning in. If you like what you've seen or like what you're seeing today, please consider subscribing to Black Butterfly Media TV. Black Butterfly Media TV is we're on a mission to get 500 subscribers. But by the time that you see this show, we probably already uh, have 500 subscribers. But please, we our, our mission is to educate, to empower, and to entertain our audience. So please support us by subscribing to Black Butterfly Media TV on YouTube.